In this section of our Braille Trail Reader tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit about pairing our device with an iOS device. So um, before we get started, I want to make sure that everybody knows the difference between a Braille display and a note taker. This is a Braille display. It has the capability to pair like a Bluetooth keyboard with an iDevice or an Android device um, or a Windows device. Um, it uses the features on that device to do things like email, writing a um, more complex, you know, assignment and spell checking and things like that. When we talked before about the notes app and, and those kinds of features that are built in to the Braille Trail, we talked about that a little bit, but the only thing that really syncs across your phone and the Braille display are your notes. And we're not talking about that part right now. We're talking about how to sync your phone or how to, I'm sorry, pair your phone with your Braille trail. So pairing your phone with the Braille trail is relatively easy. The first thing you probably should do is turn on your Braille trail and we're gonna press and hold our power button for two to three seconds. And with my left hand, I'm gonna keep um, monitoring those Braille cells in case I have a hearing impairment and can't hear the little beep. So I'm gonna hold that in for a beep. There we go, and it beeped and the cells came up. And the display says it's um, starting. And it was pretty quick because now I've got my clock. That tells me, excuse me, that my uh, rail trail is on and ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm reaching back here to this back switch that terminal switch we've talked about. This is when we put the terminal switch in like terminal mode, which is putting it all the way to the right. So you're gonna hear a click and there is nothing on the display now. And that's because our Braille trail isn't showing us things that are, are on our Braille trail reader in, in its memory. So it's ready to accept another device. So, 3.24 p.m. So this is my personal cell phone, so please excuse the cat pictures. Okay, messages. I just needed to unlock Three it. Red messages. As you can see, I have a um, iPhone 10, which can do Face ID, and it also um, does not have a home button. So if you're kind of wondering about that, that that's kind of what we're, what we're looking at here. So the first thing I need to do to pair this device is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my Braille trail over a little bit and put this Screen phone there. more Safari. center Safari. so that I can more easily um, use it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, find App Store. Photos. my Calendar. settings section. Photo. Face. Remind. Clock. Camera. Settings. There we go, there's my settings. So I'm opening it. Settings. Now, in order to get to the voiceover settings, I'm going to go to general. Sir, Amy, air, white, blue, cell, personal, notify, sounds app, do not, screen top, general, control, Oops, general, I passed it. Button. So general. So here I am in general, and I'm going to double tap. Select settings. And I need to go back, back uh, down to um, accessibility. Handle, carp, accessibility. And there it button. is. Double tap. Select now, general. Now, please remember that your voiceover must be running in order for your Braille device to uh, to function. So what I'm going to do here is accessible vision, head voiceover on. Here button. we go. I found the voiceover settings, and I'm going to enter that by double tapping. Voice voiceover voiceover tap once to double okay, tap to Okay, this is my swipe my voiceover area. So I'm, I am swiping three fingers Typing to scroll. Style. Rotor rotor audio Braille. There button. we go. So I found the Braille button. And you, you're just going to find that by swiping. So I'm going to open the Braille menu Voice here. Over. Back button. Braille. Output. Contracted. So button. it's always a good idea to check these settings. So we have contracted output. Input. Contracted. Contracted. Button. Good. Braille screen input. Contracted. And button. when I choose to use the Braille screen input, I can do it contracted. Status cells. Button. Equations use NEMEP code. Show on screen keyboard. Turn pages when panning. Word ramp. Okay, so turn pages when panning just means it automatically turns a page if it needs to, and the um, word ramp 
on. Word wrap means that if it's a longer word and it needs to wrap down to the next line, the whole thing will move to the next line. It won't just hyphenate the word. Braille code. English. Unified. And we want English Unified Braille. Alert display duration. Choose a Braille dis Alert display duration. 3S. So that's telling me that um, the Braille display um, duration that it gives me like a, an, a, an um, alert, it's three seconds. So what I need to do now choose a Braille display. is choose a Braille display. Heading. And because my, my device is already in terminal mode, in progress. BI it's already six five zero zero. Okay, so I'm just going to stop it. Um, I know that's the right one because it's the only Braille display I have um, in proximity, and it's also the only one that's turned on. So I'm going to just go ahead and open that Braille display area, and it'll allow me to pair it. Brilliant BI fourteen. Six. And if you BI heard 14, that selected. little beep, that selected my Braille six, inch. Five. So I'm just going to make it be quiet for just a minute. So I'm going to move my phone over and bring my display back in view here so that I can work on that with a little bit more ease here. And it works just like any other Braille display. So I'm going to do a um, space plus the letter H. Oops, well, I guess it needed to take a minute. Setting. There we go. Uh, and I went home. So now um, to navigate, I can use, whoops, Settings. and you know what? I, I accidentally over, touched the um, the cursor routing keys, which opened those. Setting. There you go. Um, as we talked about before, sometimes those, those sensors can be more sensitive than you want them to be. So it's important to monitor that and to realize that you may have pressed those sensors inadvertently. Contacts. But I'm navigating the apps now, I'm not touching the phone, Music. and I'm using just my my uh, my outer thumb keys here. iTunes, Node, Bard Mobile, App Store, Support, Maddie's Pedit, Outlook. So these are a lot of different things here. So I can use my standard Braille display commands that we used to use on the refresher Today, braille to turn page turn pages page with uh, using a, for unread a space and um, OW or or letter O that is turning your pages. You can um, view a, a list of commands I'll put in the description for standard braille display commands. It's pretty simple, but this is how you would check your mail. So for example, I'm going to go to the bottom of the screen here. One unread email. Now that's my mail. If I wanted to, I could open that. I bet I have junk in there. So I'm going to just um, do a cord or a space with three six. And that'll open that. Mail. Unread. Um, it's probably Google. going to show Security me. Alert yep. For your link. Google account. Dead. Full. Trash mess. Flag. More. Thomas Wolf. Reply. So these are just Adrian various, Doc. various. Um, emails that I have received. So you can do pretty much anything. This is just just like a Bluetooth keyboard. It's no different. And if you Mail. continue Dead. to press forward FW trivial pursuit rail output six mil. And if you continue to press your uh, purse routing keys, they will continue to go off and Two take you to places emails. where you didn't think you were going. So um, I hope this has been helpful. I'm just a, a real quick video on pairing. So um, this works any device, an iDevice, the same way. Uh, the iPad and all of those works pretty much the same way. And again, I will put in the description a link to standard Braille display commands. Um, hope that was helpful and um, have a great day.